Carly Johnston and welcome to Comerica Bank Game Day Preview. Tonight your Red Wings take on the Winnipeg Jets at Bell MTS Center. This is the second of two meetings with the Jets this season. The Red Wings enter tonight's contest with a 26-27-10 record, with Dylan Larkin leading the way in points with 47. The team dropped a close 2-1 decision to the St. Louis Blues on Wednesday night. Andres Afanasiu had the Wings' lone goal. The Jets are 37-17-9 and nine on the season so far, with American forward Blake Wheeler leading their team in scoring with 73 points. They dropped their game on Tuesday night to the Nashville Predators by a 6-5 score. Our very own Ken Cal is with the team in Winnipeg and filed this report from Morning Skate. Hey, thanks a lot, Carly. We're here in Winnipeg, and normally it's like 9 or 10 below, but it's a balmy 32 degrees Fahrenheit. What do I need my jacket for? Hey, the Red Wings are trying to rebound after a tough loss to the St. Louis Blues. Their opponent, the Winnipeg Jets, they're going for first place in their division. They want to catch those Nashville Predators. Let's go inside the Red Wing locker room, see what the guys have to say about tonight's game and get Jeff Plashell's comments as well. Nick, we all know about the Winnipeg Jets, high-powered offense. What's the best way to contain guys like Line A and Blake Wheeler? Anytime you play a team like this, anytime you play a real good team, really, uh, you got to try to take away as much space as possible. Stay really close and make sure they don't get too much room up there. Yeah, I, I think it's um, getting off to a good start. I think if we can you know, score f first and, and kind of get take the wind out of their sail and um, play our game and play above and, and do the, the right things, you know, we'll make it hard for them. So. Anthony, we all know that the Winnipeg Jets have a terrific offense, but what do the Red Wings have to do to generate offense against this club tonight? I think we need a strong start uh, here in their building. The t first 10 minutes, they always come out flying. Uh, fans are behind them and uh, they're throwing lots of hits. So uh, we need to reverse that, put them on their heels the first 10 and uh, just play a great game in general. Well, I mean, there's lots of challenges. They, they, they've obviously got a real good team. That's why the record's where it's at. Uh, um, you know, I thought even the game that we played them at home, uh, I didn't think the score indicated the game. I thought it was a, a much closer game. I thought we played very well, but I thought it was a much closer game. Um, you know, I, I, Connor Hellebuck's had a heck of a year. I think, uh, you know, I had him at the World Championships last year, and, and he went to work this summer, from what I understand, and really put uh, tons of work in, and uh, he's had a heck of a year. They obviously have uh, some big, fast forwards. I mean, I think it's probably the best combination of size and speed uh, in the league, and and and, and uh, tons of depth up front, uh, and then uh, uh, a real good decor. So it, it's certainly a great challenge. But, you know, as I've said lots, when we, when we uh, work and compete, uh, we'll take on anybody. Here are the keys to tonight's game against the Winnipeg Jets. The Red Wings have to have a strong defensive game. That means the forwards got to come back. They got to play well in front of their goaltender. If the Wings can do that, they could come away with the two points, but it's not going to be easy. I'm looking for the yellow because it's so balmy around here. While I do that, Carly, I'm going to throw it back to you. <laughs> Thanks for the report, Ken. You can catch all of tonight's action on 97 Won the Ticket with Ken Callen, Paul Woods or on Fox Sports Detroit Plus with Ken Daniels and Darren Elliott. Coverage begins at 7.30 p.m. and puck drop is at 8 p.m. in the Eastern Time Zone. For exclusive content and updates, make sure you follow all Detroit Red Wings social media channels. Thanks for watching this episode of Comerica Bank Game Day Preview. For Ken Cal, I'm Carly Johnston.